going to give you tips on how you can travel in Europe. I've been here for like a year and a half, but I have been to five countries and in a few in a few days I'll be already in six countries. Alright, just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like and find your limits. Don't be rigid, always work towards a prime. Surround yourself with open minds. People can change. What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing well. My name is Doris Bonita for those who do not know me. I'm a Christian Kenyan Germany best youtuber and i do lifestyle vlogs general vlogs i literally just post whatever i have to share and sometimes i do sit down sometimes i do travel vlogs so i basically just do everything on this channel today like some of you all have uh, had been asking me to do a video on traveling give you guys tips on how you can travel for those who are in germany like how you can manage to go on holidays or stuff like that this video is about that i'm going to give you tips on how you can travel in europe i've been here for like a year and a half but i have been to five countries and in a few days i'll be already in six countries and different cities well however uh, most of these trips i've not been going alone uh, like i've not been funding myself but i have tips definitely to share with you guys and one of them is first you have to make sure you have planned very well make sure you've saved money of course because of course you need money to travel around number two is you have to here in germany or rather europe the earlier you book something the cheaper it is mostly if you if it's a uh, transport if it's like the train or the plane usually if you book earlier even if it's one month earlier it will be cheaper the closer the travel date the more expensive it gets also on the prices or the booking of the means of transport that or mode of transport that you want to use if it's the whether it's the plane the bus the train the trick is booking earlier advisably one month earlier and this one i'm speaking from experience because there are a couple of times that we booked late and we noticed the difference like the more the days near the travel date the more expensive the ticket is so it's advisable that you book earlier even two months earlier is okay like prior to the traveling is okay here there is reduced payment of fee for like of the ticket for example if you book with db db have the option of those who are 26 years and below pay cheaper like they are cheaper tickets there's that option like you always have to look for the cheaper options and of course the cheaper option means that you will have a lot of connection so be ready to like really get tired be ready to sit in the train if you're using the train be ready to use uh, to sit for a long time and also change a lot of trains so the cheaper the train ticket the more the connections you have to make if you want just a one way like no exchange one train from one place to another then you will have to be ready to pay 200 euros or more so that's the trick with here in europe you have to look for the cheapest option and you have to keep in mind that the cheaper the ticket the more the connections you will make and yeah with connection it needs keenness it needs keenness or else you can miss your train 
we move to point number three which is it is best if you have someone maybe a friend if you want to go to a certain city you can try like have a friend in that city so that you don't have to pay for accommodation you don't have to pay for for food sometimes i mean food is not that expensive but mostly accommodation like for the time that you will be there so that you just have to cater for yourself like transport and transport money and maybe food a little bit you know if you have a friend you ask them if you can visit them and then they accommodate you or if you have a relative you can visit them and then they accommodate you so try to have um as many people as you can and people that you can count on of course not just any random people personally for me i'm so blessed i have two sisters in the netherlands and i have an aunt in the belgium so that's why i went there and i have my host family whom we travel with mostly when we go to austria or spain and yes yeah, some other vacation so like make sure you have accommodation and if you don't have someone to accommodate you maybe a friend or a relative then you have to look on the website the cheapest hotels you know the trick is you don't have to look for a luxurious hotel to stay in because your goal is not staying in the hotel you will not be staying in the hotel the entire time so the most important thing is you getting to that area that you want to go to and you will be visiting places to see around so technically you will not be spending a lot of time in in the hotel so it's not really that important to have a very exotic hotel which you would probably be just using it for sleeping so look for the cheapest hotel let it be in a good condition but make sure it is as low priced as possible that way you can get to save and you won't uh, get too deep in your pockets also there's like these agencies i've personally not used it but my friend has used it and they are like a traveling agency they have a bus they meet uh, you meet with like you pay like for example she was telling me she went to belgium she lives in cologne <laughs> probably you will see her georgina on the comment section and she went to belgium through this traveling agency they take you to maybe a city or a country for 24 hours you pay a certain amount of fee which is not that expensive and then they take you there they drop you there you walk the, the whole day and then you are like they will tell you whatever time you need to be back at the meeting point and then they pick you up and they take you back to your city to the Hauptbahnhof most of the time so that's something really good that i also intend on trying one day uh, yeah probably i don't know go to paris or go to i don't know like a country that i don't need a visa also make sure that you know if in like in the country that you want to go if you will need a visa for example i know in the uk we we need a visa so and it's also pretty pricey so that means you have to know like this information make sure you've done your research very well and you know like what to carry another thing to note is go as a group when you go as a group it minimizes the costs you can find a common room for example or these dormitories and then share the cost share the cost of the the rooms share the cost of the food and it will be also so much fun traveling with other people so 
you should definitely try that here mostly germany i don't know about other european countries but in germany we usually have these offers for example the nine euro ticket like they bring offers for people to travel around germany and austria specifically salzburg and i think other cities like there's a a limitation to the whole of germany and part of other countries that are close by so you have to be like checking and even ask your friends or anyone you know if they know if there's any offer around then you can take advantage of that for example the nine euro ticket was about three months and people really used it very well I personally didn't get the chance to use it very very well but I definitely used it I think two times and I went to Sal Salzburg actually with the 9 euro ticket which was awesome like it was such a great experience in Salzburg and i also went to a small city here in munich so you have to be checking like such offers and take advantage of them when you have time i didn't use it that much because i didn't have a lot of time at hand but the moment i had some time i used it but also like i said like whenever these offers are there expect a lot of connections plus it is usually crowded like the nine euro time it the the trains were packed like packed to the point that people can even like there's a possibility of people standing from salzburg to munich i don't know like it was just so crowded so be aware of such offers such opportunities and I think um, at the moment they're actually talking about the 49 euro ticket where when you buy this ticket, you can travel anywhere in Germany. But it's something that they are still discussing. So we just wait and see what they have to say, if they will pass it, if it will be rejected. We don't know. But i'm really hoping they will so that some of us can be able to travel inside germany also i think it will be a great opportunity but yeah keep on checking and seeing if there's any special offers for people students are also given a discount so if you're a student you can also take advantage of that and don't stress yourself if you're not able to travel at the moment just take one day at a time your time will come and you will go to these things so i hope you've been helped and i hope the information helps you be blessed and please subscribe like comment and share with your friends in case you like my content and see you in my next video god willing jesus loves you and i love you too bye